Oh no. Not again. Oh. Hate bunkers. I'm just going to show you a couple of key setup tips and kind of the technique for it. And then if you put all of those things together by the end of it, you should have a better idea of, of how to get out of a, a situation like this and not approach it like it's the end of your life and the end of your world. So stay tuned to the end because once you see all of them put together, these few tips, then it's not going to take you long to start getting out of the bunker. So first things first. So tip number one, if we take a closer look at this, I've drawn a line behind the ball. A lot of people, they think they've got to kind of nip it clean or they've got to hit really far behind it to kind of scoop it out. And that's not the case. You want to be hitting about an inch max behind it. So that's very important. And what you really need as well is when you're setting up, obviously you can't touch the ground when you're setting up, but what you really need to make sure is that your the line of the shot is kind of just inside the left instep. You also want to make sure that both your feet are kind of splayed apart a little bit and kind of typically the old technique used to be open the face right up you don't really need to open it up I've got a 54 degree here lots of people are gonna have 56 or 58 so just keep it relatively square slightly open maybe but not like kind of wide open the face into the sky because all you're gonna do is present get close all you're gonna do is present that leading edge and it's gonna tip it up and it's gonna go through the middle of the ball and you're gonna thin it into the lip so don't open it up too much just relatively square okay so we've got our setup feet relatively far apart okay like that and we're aiming relatively square to the flag okay now important hit thing here is don't do a really short swing it's not going to help you i used to do that it's going to lead to inconsistency you actually want a relatively longer backswing okay and the feeling you want is that you are hitting where the line is through the ball like that okay so you're brushing it you're not digging in you're not thinning it brushing across it okay so let's just try this now let's get that line there aiming relatively at the flag not too open anything like that get your weight forwards too that's another top tip not got a very clean wedge here so who knows relatively long swing and then you just want to pop through keep the face open through the shot that's really key too there we go now you can see there by doing this method this is the really good bit about it you get instant feedback i've hit two inches behind the ball it's come out okay it's pin high i was also aiming a bit too left but you can see i've hit way too far behind it so when i try again let's do one more there we go i now know that i need to be more on top of it and not hit so far behind it so let's try again That was better. Let's try it again. Such a great feedback method by drawing your line in there. Okay, so I really want to, like that, pick it like that, through it. Remember, not down, we're accelerating through it. Better, I still need to work on this clearly myself, but I'm just trying to help people get out of bunkers because I see it too often. Okay, let's really get the right place for this strike that was the best one yet and that was marginally closer too Ooh. okay okay so there you go just so you can see those uh that first one was a bit long and left much better there and the third one's good the very last one was the best one so like the video don't forget consider giving me a like subscribe as well for more things like this uh, if you're feeling really kind, that would be much appreciated. Trying to get to 1,000 subscribers or 500 first would be good, to be honest, but thousands is a long term aim. So cheers for anyone that does subscribe. Don't worry, I am, I am breaking, breaking the bunker.